afternoon and welcome to 501 Friarsgate Boulevard in Irmo, South Carolina. This home is located in the new Friarsgate subdivision in Irmo, a subdivision of Columbia on the northwest side. Great location, very easy access to Interstate 26 and Harbison Shopping. And just around the corner from uh, Irmo High and Irmo Middle School. So it is located on a corner lot, as you can see. We're gonna take a look through the inside real quick and run to the backyard and take a look at the backyard. It's got a really nice backyard. Uh, if you're looking for a big backyard, fully fenced in uh, with a nice deck, this is definitely the home for you. As you can see, the fence goes all the way around the property here. We've got a nice wood deck here, a nice spot for Relaxing after a long day's work. So let's take a look around the yard. It does have a storage room right here on the side. Let's take a quick peek in there. It does share some space with the water heater. But as you can see, you do have some extra storage, some shelves uh, off to the side there. Here's one of our uh, gates. It's got two gates. One on the left, one on the right. Some decent trees back here. So you do get some shade in the further back part of the uh, of the yard here. So let's spin around here and you can see the back of the house with the deck. Really, really nice home. And I like that it's on the corner a lot. So you got a little bit more space than you would uh, normally. So here's our backyard. So let's take a look inside. So we're in our living room here. One nice feature of the living room is that you've got very high ceilings along with a ceiling fan. So quite, quite high. There's our fireplace. And we'll take a, take, tell you what, let's go ahead and look in the master bedroom. Here's our front door, of course. We'll take a look at our master. It is a split floor plan home. So your master is on one side and the other two bedrooms are on another. We have a very nice ceiling fan, the brush nickel with wood blades. Adds a nice look to the room. This home's got some upgrades, especially when it comes to the vanities. So we've got a real nice vanity. It looks like solid surface. It is for mica, but it has that solid surface look to it. A real nice mirror with the wood trim. We've got 12 inch tiles. And then in the master, we've got a stand-up shower so that's our master bath and master bedroom so let's go ahead and take a look at the kitchen and the dining area so here is your dining area right outside of the kitchen so you do have a formal dining area so we've got a galley style kitchen here also, you notice we have a little area here where you can do an eat-in kitchen, so you can have a dining area as well as eat-in, or just have the eat-in kitchen and not have the, uh, the dining room. We've got the nice, I really like this countertop. It, it looks, like, uh, looks kind of like granite. It's got that speckled look to it. We've got our nice poles and dark cherry wood colored cabinets, upgraded stainless steel appliance package, smooth top stove. Got a black fridge. There's our dishwasher. Really nice uh, faucet there. And we've got the same tiles here, the uh, 12 inch tiles. And then you do have a side door um, 
right here in the kitchen. We do have a full-size washer and dryer connection with the uh, shelves above it. So you do have a spot for that washer and dryer. And then we're going to walk across the dining area and take a peek at our second full bath. This one has a little bit different tile. It's the same 12 inch size, but we've got the really nice vanity. That is solid surface uh, counter there. The upgraded mirror with trim and the high end light fixture, if you can see that. This bathroom has a tub and shower, so you do have a tub in this house. So there's your shower. And then we have one bedroom on the front. All these bedrooms do have ceiling fans, the same upgraded Hampton Bay brand uh, brush nickel and wood blade fan. Nice neutral colors all throughout this home. And then down our hall is our uh, final third bedroom. So really nice house. If you're looking for an above average size lot in a subdivision, not far from downtown, probably about 15, maybe 20 minutes, depending upon what part of downtown you're in. So really convenient. If you have any questions or would like to fill out a rental application, please visit our website directly at turnerproperties.com. Thank you for watching.